Hey everybody, Andrew here. Today I'm going to talk about some of the new animations available in the new Camtasia 9 or Camtasia 3 for Mac. Um, a lot of these are the same. If you look here in the animations pane, we've got Custom, which is what I use uh, the most in Camtasia 8. Restore, which is one of the new ones that I absolutely love. If you make a, a custom animation it, and then you want it to go back to the way it was before, all you have to do is drop a restore and it instantly reverses the last animation that you have that you put down onto the, the timeline, which is great. There's uh, go to no opacity, go to full opacity, tilt left, tilt right, scale up, scale down, scale to fit, and then smart focus, um, which we are familiar from screen recording stuff uh, of the past. So we're going to go ahead and try this out. I, I, this is a project that I built out using uh, some behaviors, but I've gone ahead and deleted the behaviors, and we're going to just try doing it with, uh, with animations, with these new animations. I'm also going to be talking about some transitions. Our, we got a lot of new transitions, so I'm going to be using some transitions and animations to edit this project. Uh, first thing, let's decide how this eLearning Brothers uh, logo is going to come onto the screen. Um, here in the, they've got the cube rotate, dissolve, stretch, spiral, uh, blind, circle reveal, gradient wipe, radial wipe, bottom bars, stripes, zigzag. That one looks kind of fun, not really what we're looking for though. Right here, what I like is they've got this new slide left and slide right. If we drag the slide right down onto the top at the beginning, let's play it, see what it looks like. Kind of unfolds it from the center. And I do like that. I think that's that's pretty nice. But now what I want it to do is once it's on the screen, I'd like it to do a little bit of action to keep us on there. I'd like it to scale up. So I'm going to go ahead and drag the scale up animation down. We get those familiar arrows. We'll let go and push, uh, come back to the beginning and push play, see what that looks like. Scales it up. That's great. I don't know if I uh, would want it to stay, so I'm going to go ahead and shrink it back down. Um, and I can do two things now. I can use a scale down to go back down to where it was, or I can use restore. So for this one, I'm going to use restore. So we'll go ahead and drag restore down, drag it over, and you can see that it went right back to where it was. If we go to the very beginning, slides on. Scales up, scales down. And then we can use uh, another slide right transition to get it off the screen. Go ahead and try that here. Slide right. So if we push play, comes on, scales up, scales down, slides off. It's great. Okay, so now this next piece, how are we going to get it onto the screen? Uh, let's try one of these uh, one of these other ones, like a cube rotate. What does a cube rotate do? Now when you apply a transition to an item on your timeline, you can push it over this yellow segment, which means apply it to only one side, or you can put it right in the middle and it'll apply it to both sides. So let's try that. Come to the beginning and push play. Comes around and goes off. That's pretty good. Let's go into the animation, see what we can do here. While it's on the screen, I would like it to scale up to fit the screen. So it comes on a little bit smaller. Comes on, scales up, and then squares off. Just like that, I was able to get a smooth transition up to full screen. Now this text, I do prefer to use behaviors on text um, as opposed to animations. But we'll try something a little bit different. So we would like, I would like it to start off screen let me go ahead and zoom out a little bit. So what I want it to do is start up here in the corner, and I'd like it to start sideways. So I'm going to turn it sideways. Stick it up here in the corner. Place a custom animation down. Shrink it down. I don't want it to take that long. Pull it down to where it's going to be ending. Let's rotate it back flat. And then let's push play and see what that looks like. Okay. And now I would like it to... Uh, go off in the same direction. So I'm going to hit restore. We'll shrink this down again. And let's see what that looks like. Goes right back up the same way. I didn't have to custom build that. I was just able to click, use the restore and it went right back where it needed to go. So now for this next one, this footage, let's, uh, let's start it at the proper scale, 100%. And I'll zoom in to fit. The way I would like this to come in, we'll go into the transitions, is just a standard fade. It's the very first one here. 
I want it to fade on and off, so I'll put it in the center, and I'm going to decrease the amount of time it takes to fade on, and decrease the amount of time it takes to fade off. Now, to keep things interesting, I'm going to place the animation tilt left, right on top of this. I'm going to have it start right when it's about almost done fading on. Let's see what that looks like. And right there, it fades to half the screen. Now, what's cool about this is I can now take a second uh, item, place it here, and we'll put the tilt right animation on it. So it's perfectly balanced there. I don't, I don't like that it's uh, not the same width though, and that's just the, the ratio. So I'm going to click this, the crop button here at the top, and I'm going to crop down this logo until it matches right about there, and crop this bottom up until it matches right about there. Okay, so I want him to come on and him to fade away to this logo already being tilted. So I'm going to put it on top. I'm going to pull this back so that it lines up. Let's see what that looks like. Not bad. Not bad at all. So now I'm going to click the restore. Pull it back for both of these. Great. And so now we can play it from the very beginning. This was all done with transitions and animations. Let's take a look at it. There's a new transition. The scale up and scale down. Cube rotation on. And there you go. So that was all done using some of these new animations and new transitions. Very quickly and very easily able to make it look very, very good. Um, the new Camtasia 9 looks fantastic. And uh, best of luck with the productions that you're working on. Thanks.